Students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School returned to classes. It was a much quieter day on the Parkland, Florida campus. Not as many parents dropped their children off as the students tried to get back to their normal routines. The school is providing grief counselors and therapy dogs to help the students open up about the shooting that killed 17 of their classmates and teachers. Well, some companies are seeing an increase in bulletproof school gear on the heels of the recent tragedy in Florida. Our Natasha Brown spoke to one company that makes items that are designed to protect school teachers and students. And she joins us now from our satellite center with details. Natasha. Well, Yuki, good evening to you. We recently did visit an armor manufacturing company in Maryland that is not only making police cars bulletproof, but they're also very discreetly placing armor inside schools and in school gear throughout the country. It's only 3.7 pounds. Oh, wow. George Tunis is the CEO of Hardwire, one of the world's leading armor manufacturing companies. It's easy to just grab and... It's easy to grab. In light of recent tragedies, his business has gone from providing ballistic armor for the military and Philadelphia police vehicles into what's supposed to be an innocent and safe environment, the classroom. After Sandy Hook and having two young kids in school at the time, mm -hmm. we were like, how do we put armor in, inside schools? So we came up with the one thing that's in every school are whiteboards. These whiteboards have become unassuming shields in a nation where school shootings like the most recent massacre in Parkland, Florida, have shaken the security of students, teachers, and parents. If you had a gun, yeah. I could charge you, and if I take a twist, there's a good chance I'll hit you with one of these things, and it literally will break your finger. You cannot hold a gun when somebody comes at you with one of these things. Hardwire also provides bulletproof inserts for backpacks and book bags, and other companies, as seen here, are following suit. Everything's happening very real time. It's very fast. And if you can't put armor in the hands of the people that are directly involved, directly in front of the shooter, you're too late. Some parents, like reality star Kim Zolciak, aren't hesitating to embrace the new armored reality. She recently posted this bulletproof backpack to social media after purchasing it for her kids. Several websites are selling them for a little more than $100. <laughs> For many, a small price to pay to save lives. By putting it into the school classroom in a way that's not threatening, you're giving those people a fighting chance. We're the armor everything. We want to see armor become ubiquitous. We want to see it go throughout society. Well, Hardwire also makes bulletproof clipboards and pictures that hang on walls in bars and restaurants, even hospitals that can be used for protection. That's the very latest for now. We're live in the Sat Center. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you. For